you have your 1.2 megapixel camera up front here and that is pretty much it so let's fire this thing up let's see if it has any juice in it there we go that was pretty quick you get your Dell splash screen there and this will be firing up this device for the first time so I'm gonna to have to do the sign up process as you saw there there's a an indicator light on the top bezel next to the camera and while this is doing this let me show you the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 next to it so it's a little taller than the Galaxy Note but I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit thinner by a little bit and width wise I think even though the Galaxy Note has a case on it I think it's gonna be let me take the case off I think it's gonna be actually they're pretty even they feel the same thickness the screen size looks identical though and that's because they're both 8 inch screens and they have the same aspect ratio so here we go we have region and language obviously I'm in the United States uh, it has that selected app language English yep that's good keyboard layout US and the only thing I do have to change is the time zone so put it on Eastern time here and hit next down here alright the EULA of course I accept I won't read it security and Dell update to complete your McAfee account setup for antivirus protection enter your email address to keep your system up to date and allow Dell to provide streamlined support check both boxes below okay this is interesting because I use Windows Defender on my Asus Transformer Book T100 I don't use McAfee antivirus so I don't know how that's gonna bog the system down I know with the Asus Transformer book not running a regular or conventional antivirus means that the system performs well I don't know how a regular conventional antivirus program would bog the system down so let's see system updates notify me when updates are available for my Dell software okay I'll check that and streamline support send this PC service tag serial number to Dell to enhance your support experience um let's see I'm just going to skip this for now I assume I could always go back to it and now we get to the actual Windows 8 personalization so I think I'm gonna go with a red theme alright I might as well name it Venue Pro and here's your Windows keyboard down here and your characteristic sounds that you get when you type on it okay in that last step I entered in my home wireless network information and the next step here is settings I'll use the express settings here and it's going to set up my account I'll sign into my Microsoft account here and I'll join you on the other side of that okay so what I did is I entered in my Microsoft account information signed into that and then the computer wanted me to verify that uh, this was me they sent me a pin code on my email address that's associated with my Microsoft account and I entered in that pin code and this is where we're at now it's basically starting up the system and it looks like it's giving a reboot here and we should be into Windows 8.1 pretty soon here alright we have the Windows 8.1 startup here when you actually set up a device for the first time giving me these little greetings here telling me what I can do with Windows 8 and I actually tried Windows 8 on my PC build briefly and I actually liked Windows 7 better because I just use that device or that computer primarily to edit video on so I just want to get down to business I want to get to the desktop but for a tablet Windows 8 
and of course 8.1 I've discovered is quite uh, a good tablet interface. It makes things quick. You can check things very quickly on there. It's really a nice operating system for a tablet. So it's going to be interesting to see how it works in an 8 inch form factor because when you do go to the desktop, because the desktop is available on this device, it's going to be interesting to see how you interact with that because it is such a small screen. But that's why I went with the option to get the stylus and the case because the stylus actually fits into the case. And uh, it's going to be probably easier to use the stylus to interact with uh, the Windows 8 desktop. Uh, for legacy programs and, and whatnot. Now the one thing I like about this tablet right away is the rubberized back. And the tablet, obviously it's not a rugged tablet, but it's it feels a lot more rugged than most tablets I've ever used. Because generally when I use a device I like to keep it as mint as possible and I always feel like I have to baby a lot of the devices that I have. That's why I have a uh, case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.1. But um, even without the case here, it feels like it's going to stand up. It's not going to easily scratch. The back won't easily scratch because it is all rubberized back there. So, so far I really like that. And I wish that would be a little more important to companies, the ruggedness of the device. I don't really care so much how it looks most of these things are black slabs anyway, so you know there's not a lot of creativity in the space. So I'd rather have a durable device than a device that's pretty and gets easily damaged. So, so far that's my first impression of just holding this device here. So here we go, here is the Windows Start screen here. And as I've noticed on the Transformer book, very responsive. This Atom processor is very capable of running what you need to run on these devices here. So let me turn it to landscape here. And it looks like this might be one of the ways you would use this device mostly. But of course you can use it in portrait as well. So again, very responsive. Let's see if we can find the desktop on here. Looks like it's hidden on this one. Ah, there it is right there. It's actually a Halloween themed desktop that I had on my other device and I haven't changed it because it is already November. So here is the actual Windows desktop. Let's see how it is to interact with it. Let's bring up Internet Explorer here and let's see if we can resize this window. Now the interesting thing when you're in the desktop mode, let me actually zoom this in a little more here. The interesting thing when you're in the desktop mode is that if you go to a field where you can type in, it doesn't automatically bring up the keyboard. You're going to have to click on the keyboard icon down here and that'll bring it up. So let's back this up here and let's go to YouTube here. And then, of course, you have to get rid of the keyboard as well. So the good thing about this is that you're going to be able to load up all your legacy programs on here. And provided you're able to use it in a small form factor like this, it will be very useful to you. And it's very responsive. So I'll probably have a couple more videos up on this device definitely when I get the case and stylus. And I'm also going to show you how you can load up BlueStacks on this tablet and actually run Android apps on it. So then you get the best of both worlds. So it's going to be very cool. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.